Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Pharma Fun for us. So as you all know, this channel is intended for all those who want to learn about pharmacy and who do not have much knowledge of it. Even the non-medical professionals, they can also understand the videos that I make because I use very layman's language and all the pharmacy aspirant, aspirants or you know the medical aspirants who wants to know more about the medicines who are still learning, they get to learn a lot here. And in today's video, I'll be talking about generic versus the branded medicines, all you need to know about them. Going ahead with the video, in today's video, we shall see about the generic drugs, what are generic drugs, what are branded drugs, what are the differences between them and what is the eligibility for a branded drug to be called as a branded or an ethnic drug. The conclusion will include as to whether we can use generic drugs or you know we can, which one is better to use or what is the difference actually i am abidinisa begum i have done my graduation and post graduation in pharmacy in post graduation i took my subject my special my specialization was pharmaceutics as of now i am a technical and a soft skills trainer as well so coming back to today's video, coming back to the topic, what are generic drugs? These are the medications that are created to be same as an already existing drug that has already been marketed by a well-known brand. But these drugs, they are same, uh, you know, similar to them in dosage, similar, not similar, it is the same actually, in dosage form, safety, strength, the route of administration, the quality, the performance, characteristics, and the intended use, all that is the same. Then these similarities, they help to demonstrate bioequivalence. And oh, what is bioequivalence? To define, it is the relationship between two preparations of the same drug in the same dosage form. So that is what bioequivalence is. Then that means that a generic medicine works in the same way and provides the same clinical benefit as its brand name version. So in other words, you can take a generic medicine as an equal substitute for its brand name counterpart. So when a pharmacist or the person at the pharmacy offers you a different medicine than you know what has been prescribed and you, i mean only the name wise the composition has to be same if name wise the drug is different the brand name is different you can always take that drug there is no harm in taking that but please make sure that you go through the composition before taking it and then however a generic drug can only be marketed after the brand name drugs patent has expired the process of patenting and all I have mentioned about it in one of my videos called as life cycle of a medicine. So you can go through that as a reference in that video. I'll be adding the link here as a reference so you can go to that video and watch it. So the patenting process uh, will take up to 20 years after the patent holder's drug is first filed with the US Food and Drug Administration. FDA or the Food and Drug Administration, this without the approval of FDA, no drug can be, you know, can make it to the market. And there are different rules that are laid down by FDA. We have to follow that. And only after that, uh, that rules are for the safety and, you know, to check the safety of the drug and how efficient that is. So FDA is the authority, has the authority to you know give the permission for the marketing of the drug then let us see what are ethnic or branded drugs a drug that has a trade name and is protected by a patent patent again as i told you can be produced and sold only by the company holding the patent when the patent protection for a brand name drug expires, generic versions of the drug can be offered for the sale if the FDA agrees. So the generic versions can only come and make it to the market if the FDA agrees after the patent is completed, after the brand name drug's patent is completed, only then the generic version can come in the market. When the patent run out, runs out, 
generic versions of many popular drugs are have been marketed at lower cost by other companies because these generic the companies that are making the generic versions they don't have to go through all the trials for all these years and they do not spend as much as these companies the brand name drugs were you know uh, cost that i mean you know the expenses that were there for the brand name drugs that is not the same thing about the generic drugs that is the reason for you know why the generic drugs are being sold at a lower cost then what are the differences between the generic and the brand name drugs so some people have these have this misconception or misperception that the generic drugs are inferior when compared to the brand name drugs generic companies don't have the expense of research and development you know as a new chemical entity that is the reason why they are sold at lower prices i have you know even seen some medical or the some you know from some generic pharmacies they mentioned that they can give up to 80% discount so that is only because they did not have to spend so much uh, that is the reason why they can sell it at so such a low price no they do not compromise on quality then a branded drug what makes it a branded drug you know why is it called as a branded drug what is the eligibility that it is called as branded drug let us see so a branded medicine is the original product that has been developed by a pharmaceutical company when a company develops a new medicine their product must undergo and pass rigorous tests and evaluations to ensure that it is both effective and it is curing the condition it claims to treat and safe for human use this also involves huge expenses like i said a lot of money has to be spent a lot of trials they fail and after that these drugs make it to the market and again the patent process that also is there then let us see that the generic medicines do they compromise on quality so while researchers will likely you know continue to look into the performance of the generic versus the brand name drug because that is what they have to do the bulk of research that is already available in the market that taking the no blame brand or uh, you know the generic drug not only saves the money but also provides you with the medication that is just as effective as the original one in addition because the brand name drugs were more expensive it's also possible that a disproportionate number of older sicker individuals couldn't afford the brand name drug they are now able to take the generic form so that is for the betterment of them this group of the first time users first time who might have used the generic form may have been more prone to side effects because of their health and it's a disclaimer that because of their health they had to face these side effects not because of the quality of the generic medication so maybe that is when the misconception has started that because of the generic drug they were they you know had the side effects and all that is why people hesitate to take generic drugs but no that is only because of their health condition the quality of generic medication that does not you know compromise there is no compromise in that so thank you very much for patiently watching the video and feedbacks are welcome if you have any queries you can just post in the comment section and you can also suggest me some you know good topics to talk about that you want to know more about thank you very much everyone